Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple DCF model. We're going to start with a uh, project in mind. So let's say that you want to make a grocery store for your community. It will cost you $10 million up front in year zero to make. And you expect to make $2 million the first year. And every year after that, we are going to expect an additional $1 million. And we'll carry that out to the next, till uh, year five, which will be our time horizon for this project. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to discount the cash flows. But before we are going to do that, we're going to need to come up with a required rate of return. So depending on how risky your project is, you're going to have a higher or lower rate of return. So the riskier projects, you'll want higher to be compensated for the risk that you're taking. Uh, let's say that you've been in this business a long time. You know pretty well that your cash flows are going to be very steady, so you're not going to require as high of a rate of return. So let's say you want a 15% rate of return. Uh, obviously this might not be uh, necessarily accurate for the real world, but in this perfect scenario it will work just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cash flow from each year and we're going to divide by 1 plus we're going to actually use an absolute reference to the to the discount rate so that that never changes and we'll raise it to the year number to find out what each cash flow is worth uh, in the present time so that we can appropriately value uh, this project. So for year zero it should be the same as what we already have but for future years you'll see that the discounted cash flows are actually worth less and less over time and this is because given a dollar today if you invest it uh, you have compounding interest so you're compounding your returns uh, which makes your total cash flow later on worth less and less so in order to calculate the net present value of this project or the appropriate uh, risk adjusted value uh, we're going to add up all of our discounted cash flows and we'll see that we get a little over two million dollars for the project so this means that we're getting even more than we expect uh, based on our required rate of return so we have higher than a 15 percent rate of return on our project uh, another way to do this is just to use the NPV formula given by Excel and you can they'll do the discounting for you so you'll enter in your rate and make sure that it's in percent uh, or you can type 0.15 and then we're going to only focus on years 1 through 5 and then we'll go back and add the negative cash flow from the year zero in and that should give us the same answer which we got here so I hope you all like this video uh, if you haven't already please subscribe uh, I'll be coming out with a lot more of these soon uh, if you'd like to see a more complicated DCF I'd be happy to do that just let me know in the comments below uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later